So first we're going to take a look at the Scale Trains Rivet Counter Grain Hopper Car and it's owned by BNSF and it comes in this reddish brownish livery which people nicknamed the Earthworm. So starting here from the front we've got some ladders on the sides as well as the bottom has a foot plate. There also is some printed text here as well as car number, a roof walkway and at the bottom there is a coupler of an airline hose. You also got this hole with some piping going through it and I can show you what it looks like with the air brake detail. And here's a closer view of the top of the car. We also got this red grab iron just on one side. And here's what it looks like from a profile view. All right, so now let's go check out what it looks like on the side of the car. Here it says BNSF, the car number, lots of printed text elements all throughout. From the top all the way down to the bay and also the trucks as well. We also got some support beams for the walkways on top. So now let's go move further down the car. Here it says plate C. There's a warning label here, some writing on the bay, and on the other end we have the large BNSF swoosh logo, very cool. We got a lot of printed elements on this side as well, and I should also note there's these extruded triangles on both ends. Also at the top there is some yellow text here on the side, says caution, no side ladder. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at the BN, here we got the ladder on the side, we got the brake wheel down here at the bottom, the air brake system behind it, and here I'll rotate the car so you guys can see what it looks like on the angles, you can see the air tanks and the piping detail. And the walkways do have holes so it is see-through and the text is legible just talking about the wheel sizes and the brake beams So this side of the car is different because it has this white and black rectangle here As well as this air brake hose line which comes from underneath and goes throughout the side of the car But other than that it looks pretty identical to the other side so here's what the roof looks like. The walkways are see-through. We've got these tiny red details to attach to the roof hatches, which are metallic in color. Here we're gonna have a bird's eye view of it just to see all of it clearer. And now let's take a look here at the bottom with the three bays. Got the truck on the end. And this is where they dump out the grain through those doors at the bottom. In the corner of the car, there also is a small little triangular logo, pretty cool. And the trucks do have some printing with the car number and they also have rotating bearing caps, so they turn. And apparently there's something called a vibrator in railroading because this warns about it. And that attaches to the side of the bay. So now we're going to take a look at another rivet counter. This is a STLX, which is owned by Tate & Lyle Ingredients, a food company, and it's an XBNSF. Alright, so starting from the AN, here's what it looks like. We got this crossbar going across, and at the bottom, there's a single white grab iron, so that's kind of interesting. Then we got the reporting mark here and the number, and it's also crossed out from the XBNSF. And since it was pretty much the same type of car, it has a lot of the same information. And one thing I noticed on this one, you have these tiny little L3, L4 written down over here on top of the axles. And there also are some molded on words there in the middle. It's very subtle. There also is this cool little detail of this bent corner of the stirrup step, and that is on both sides. And here's a view of the entire side of the car. You can see that patched out BNSF logo that used to be there, and now it is just a painted shape. All right, so now I'm gonna rotate around so you guys can see the brake wheel end of the car. It's pretty much the same design as the other BNSF. Now the roof is a bit different because these grab irons here, they're actually painted yellow instead of red. And here's what the bottom of this car looks like. You see the holes there and the triangles in the middle. They are hollow on the inside as well. So now we're going to take a look at the operator version of the covered hopper and this is a Kansas City Southern KCS and this is in the bell scheme so you got this cool stripe pattern black which is a slight bluish tint to it a light gray as well as red and yellow. So let's go check out the AN first. So here we got Kansas City 7, the car number. We got the ladders on the sides, some walkways at the top and the bottom. Now because Operator is a lower detailed model, this walkway here is not see-through and it is just indented. So on the side of the car, we got Kansas City Southern, the number, as well as some other printed details on the side. So unlike the previous two cars, this car says do not hammer on car in the middle. That's a pretty cool thing to say. But also if you look underneath, it says the same exact thing in Spanish and that's because Kansas City Southern operates also in Mexico. Then over here we've got Kansas City Southern Lines, that is their logo, it's like an octagon, as well as some printed information about the car. Now here I'm going to rotate it so you guys can see the brake wheel and it does have less detail from the rivet counter so there is less of those piping, but it still looks pretty good. And here's what the car looks like from this side. 
So here's a view of the roof, and like I said before, the walkways here are not see-through, so they're just indents than actual holes, and it also is missing the grab iron on the corner. All right, so now let's go show you guys what it looks like here on the bottom. They are painted gray. Now here are all three of the hoppers from scale trains that I got. And first I wanna compare both of the BNSF and the XBNSF, the STLX. I did find it interesting. The paint that they patched out is the same BNSF brown paint that they used on the regular hopper. And again, STLX is special because they have this white grab iron on the bottom. And apparently the BNSF hopper is missing its center and railing. Unlike the other two, even the operator does have it. So I emailed scale trains and they said they're gonna send me another one so up over here you'll notice the top grab irons are different colors and both of them do have this white painted underneath the brake wheel there also seems to be a bit too much of white glue underneath this walkway you'll see it right through it so now let's compare the rivet counter to the operator now the rivet counter does have etched metal walkways so it is see-through with actual holes while the operator is not and it's plastic it's also missing that grab iron on the end so here's a view of the roof side by side and they appear to use the same roof hatches now here's a view of the BN, see the rivet counter, they have the air brake detail, the coupler cut lever, airline hose, while the operator is lacking in many of those details, and they are also using a different coupler to my surprise, so rivet counter versus operator, you see the rivet counter, they have sort of like this dip that goes down, and the connecting pin is painted brown on the top of the bottom, while if you look at operator, it is missing that dip, and there is an exposed pin. The rivet counter does have a lot of printed elements throughout the car, while the operator does have some printed elements, but not all of them. Them, and it does not have the rotating bearing caps. Now let's compare it to Walters in Athens. So we have Walters here in the front and Athen right behind it and then scale trains for the other three. Now each brand does have a different prototype for their models so they're not going to be the same exact design but you can see the differences between how they build the car. Now Walters mainline it does not have see-through walkways just like the operator but a lot of their details are really thick and chunky so it's more durable although if you look on scale train it is thinner and more realistic. Well if you compare Athen to scale train Athern has a lot of these thin small details and their coupler does have that dip that goes down. So here's a view of them side by side and both of these models are pretty well detailed.
All right, so for my final thoughts, I think these scale trains, green briar covered hoppers, the rivet counter, they're really well detailed and very realistic with their printing, with the legible text, the see-through etched metal walkways, the detailed couplers. I really like the STLX XBNSF color scheme and they roll fairly well. The only thing to complain about is a bit of the quality control issue where it's missing the end center railing and the excessive white glue marks on the BNSF hopper. So I emailed scale trains about it and they responded actually fairly quick and they said they will send me a replacement part. As for the operator, I do recommend the Kansas City Southern Bell livery because it has a really cool paint scheme. Also, it doesn't matter if it has FRA striping or not because the red and yellow stripes cover it anyways. Although it is less detailed than River Counter where the walkways are plastic, not see-through, and they also use a different coupler. It is cheaper and it still has a fair amount of thin realistic detail parts, so it still places higher than Walder's mainline. And also, since it doesn't have rotating bearing caps, it actually rolls a lot easier. It actually went through the whole loop all the way to where it started. But yeah, these guys are a great addition to a modern freight train since covered grain hoppers are really common and these ones in particular look really nice. By the way, I like their new packaging and if you want to pick this up for yourself, I got these from scaletrains.com. They're still in stock. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure you hit that like button down below and if you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and write down in the comments what you guys think of these models. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>